What's up YouTube? This is Bobby Lee with a quick review on a amazing ROM, Serenity ROM. I think I'm saying that right. Serenity. Um, I believe that's it. I'm not sure how to say it, but whatever. Anyways, it is a pretty amazing ROM. Uh, it is TouchWiz. That is one of my favorite things right there is the ink effect on the lock screen. You could change that color to whatever color you want. I like the red. But I like how it does that. That is awesome. Alright. But so far we'll start with the toggles. You could put a bunch of toggles up there now. Um, to reboot, turn your phone off. Um, you got... I don't got them all on there now, but you got auto rotate, smart stay, S beam driving mode, auto sync, power saving, blocking mode, GPS, Bluetooth, mobile hotspot, airplane, mobile data, and Wi Fi. Um, very, very good ROM. It is on Android 4.1.1. Kuntz Kernel. Um, one of my also favorite things is the extra settings it comes with. All these good, nice settings here. <laughs> Clear your catch, calibrate your battery, sound enhancement, CPU controls. Alright, and then you can go to general and have it so you don't can't overclock or if you click that you go overclock up to 2106 I personally don't overclock I like it stock how it is it runs smooth um, I don't want to kill my battery any more than the phone already does but you could mess with the voltage governors who wait speaking of governors you could uh mess with all that stuff I need to uh, find where that the governors are make sure mine's on on demand yes it is I like to keep it stock on demand but uh, it's got CPU spy so you can see you know where you run in and if you're getting deep sleep or not Sack extras as the animations and whatnot. You can show battery bar, whatever. It's got a bunch of them here that you could do. Also, um, we'll go to lock screen. Go to lock screen and I'll show you. Alright, if you have AOSP lock screen or the regular custom lock screen, you can add torch, information ticker, all that other stuff. But then here's the what I was talking about on my lock screen that ink effect. You could change that to any color that you like. I actually want to find a black. So let's see uh, what the black looks like. Oh, so nice. I'm sticking with the black. Right, how awesome is that? That's awesome. Hats off to the dev that made that. That's amazing. I'm recording this on my Galaxy S3. It, it, uh, it takes a little bit to autofocus sometime, plus I'm not in the best lighting. But uh, the camera, it got the Galaxy Note 2 camera. <laughs> Excuse me. In gallery. You know, you hit that and yeah, you get the things there. Um whoops, sorry about that. You get the camera of the note two, which has a best face. Best photo, bloody stare shot, you know, a couple good ones, and then you get some good settings. Of course, 
the S3 has amazing camera settings as is. But outdoor visibility is something that I really like. And, uh, because sometimes when you take a picture outside, you got auto share too, which is pretty cool. Sometimes when you take that picture outside, it, the, you're, if you're in the wrong way of the light of the sun or whatever, it messes it all up and that helps it a lot, actually. A whole bunch. Uh, what other cool thing did I want to show? Oh, okay. So you know how when you plug in headphones, it, uh, let me do this. Excuse me. I'm, Trying to do one hand. But when you plug in the headphones, it gives you your uh, things here. Now you can customize them to whatever you want right there. Uh, it says you can have 12. Oops. It says you can have 12 of them. And here's the setting for that. Headphone shortcut. <laughs> It says you can have 12 of them, but I can only get these ones to show up right there. But you can choose really whatever apps that you want. I don't think you can do it while the headphones are plugged in. I want to get rid of all share. But yeah, you see, you can add whatever I have I don't know why people most you know I like I added the gallery just in case I wanted to watch a video but I get my video up there so I don't need it but uh yeah you can add some pretty cool stuff really you know any app basically But, and then you plug it in. Excuse me. And then that's what you get. Is that. I'm going to have to get rid of the media hub for the. Uh, let me do that. No, I'll do that later. Sorry. But um, yeah, that's really cool. Really, really cool. And then you get where you could double tap the home key. And you get Google Now instead of S Voice. When you first do it, it asks you if you want to use S Voice or Google Now. I never use S Voice. Um, I think I used it a couple times to test to update my Facebook status, but that's it. Uh, what else do you get? Groupcast, which is really cool. Oh, MultiView. <laughs> And it comes pre-installed with uh, multi-window control, which allows you to add any application to your multi-view. We'll go ahead and do the gallery. And then we'll do Google+. Plus. So there's that. Multi-view, fully functional, working 100%. No bugs with that. There's no bugs with the ROM that I have found. This ROM is completely 100% stable, in my opinion. Uh, I like the center clock widget. That's bad. You could change the battery and all that, though, too, as well. Um, but, yeah, that's about it. Subscribe, comment, you know, let me know what you think. Thanks.